Well, there are many myths about the relationship between science and religion. Uh, probably the two biggest ones uh, are the overarching myths, one of which uh, holds that science and religion have always been in conflict and will inevitably and invariably remain in conflict. There's another myth that's popular among some uh, conservative uh, religious people that religion gave rise to science, especially Christianity gave rise to science. And so what you find is essential harmony. And the historical truth, if I dare use that word, uh, is a much more complex story in which there has been uh, some conflict, uh, there has been a lot of support for science over the centuries uh, from religious institutions, uh, but in no way that I see uh, did religion, especially Christianity, give rise to science. So uh, those are the two biggest myths that we see in competition, and they've been around since the mid-19th century uh, and continue uh, to, you can encounter them almost any day. Well, uh, historians of science and religion, or historians of science generally, have been discussing these myths for a number of decades, have been looking at the actual encounters and have found that, that there is not a solid historical foundation for, for these myths. However, academics tend to talk to one another and write for one another, and so the word has remained fairly confined to academics who say, well, we know that there's no eternal conflict or has not been one, and yet, the, that new uh, perspective has not made it to the public. Uh, it was in the interest of reaching a little further out that I uh, edited this book uh, where uh, 25 experts in different areas got together and each one uh, took a myth and uh, tried to explain historically uh, how things happen based on the evidence that we have available today.